Uh, hi everyone, uh, I am Madam Rosmaya. Uh, in this video, we are going to discuss on one uh, past year's question, STPM, essay question on topic statics. So, we read the question first. We solve for 2A and B first. So, for 2A question, uh, state the conditions for equilibrium of a rigid body. So, the condition is the net force acting on the body is equals to zero. And another condition is the net talk about any axis of rotation is equals to zero. So, two marks for this two content. Uh, question 2B. Two light wires X and Y hung from a ceiling to support a load of 30.0 Newton is shown uh, in the diagram below. Okay, y makes an angle of 53.0 degrees with the ceiling and the tension of 25.0 Newton while X uh, makes an angle of theta with the ceiling. Uh, sketch and label the triangle of forces and number 2, determine theta and the tension of X. So, to sketch and label the triangle of forces. First step, uh, we determine all the forces that act on the diagram. So, we have tension Y given 25 Newton and tension in the string X as TX. And then, another one is the weight uh, 30.0 Newton. Eh, weight of the um, uh, load. Eh, weight of this load. Okay. So, first we draw the 25 Newton uh, tension here. Represent by the vector uh, here, okay, 25 Newton, and it is measured uh, 53 degrees from horizontal, followed by the uh, another uh, vector of, of tension, eh, Tx here, okay, then uh, lastly followed by uh, weight 30 Newton, eh, and the Tx is measured theta from the vertical, uh, from horizontal line here, eh. And then uh, lastly is the weight 30.0 Newton which is uh, downward, eh, vertical, vertically. So you must draw vertical uh, here and uh, complete the triangle okay, to show that the this is the equilibrium eh, for vector diagram. Okay, so done with uh, question 1. I don't forget to label with 30.0 Newton. Okay, labels all the angle, arrow, uh, and the uh, uh, value. Okay, so the angle here is 37 degrees. Yeah. Okay, next, uh, to determine theta and the tension of uh, x, okay, we use a uh, cosine rule. Okay, to use a uh, cosine rule, so we must know this angle, 37 degrees, 90 minus 53 degrees, so we get 37 degrees. So, using cosine rule, uh, Tx squared, okay, this is Tx squared. So, opposite 37 degrees is Tx squared. Then, uh, the two sides uh, that make 37 degrees is 25 and 30 Newton. So, 25 squared plus 30 squared minus 2, 25 times 30. Then, cos uh, the angles uh, by uh, the two sides, uh, made by the two sides here, eh, 25 and 30 uh, Newton, uh, that is cos 37 degrees. So this is cosine rule. Then you calculate for Tx. The answer is 18.1 Newton. So this is uh, Tx value. Okay, next to determine the theta, to, mean, to determine this theta, so we use, um, we use sine rule. Okay, we use sine rule. So for sine rule, we use uh, the angle here. Let's say the angle here is alpha. So that means sine alpha per uh, 25 uh, Newton. Okay, sine alpha per 35. The opposite of sine uh, of alpha is 25 Newton. So al sine alpha per 25 Newton. And then we use uh, sine 37 per Tx. So sine 37 per Tx. Tx calculated just now is 18.1. So you solve for alpha fifty six point two degrees. Next to find to find theta, so ninety minus uh, fifty six point two degrees. Okay, not written here, but you can uh, I do yourself. So the question asks for theta. So means theta is uh, ninety minus uh, fifty six point two degrees. Okay, so you continue your own work here. 
Okay, next uh, question so 2C. Okay, a uniform uh, plank with a weight of 5,025 newton and length of 450 cm is pivoted at its center of mass. A block of 1,520 newton is placed 150 cm from one of its end. Another block M is placed 90.0 cm from the opposite end of the plank so that the system is in equilibrium. So first question, uh, draw a free body diagram showing the forces acting on the plank. So a uh, free body diagram means without the body. Okay. So we just draw the uniform plank here. So this is the uh, center uh, for the width of the uh, uniform plank because the plank is uniform. So uh, the direction of the width is at the center of the plank eh? uh, downward. So 5,225 uh, 5, newton uh, label uh, like this. And then uh, uh, in the mid 450 centimeter means in the middle here uh, 225 centimeter from one end and from the other end also 225 centimeter. Okay, next uh, is the reaction force uh, by the point here, eh, the pivoted point here. So reaction force. And then we have uh, 1520 newton is placed 150 cm from one of its end. So from end one of its end here 150 cm. So we label the uh, arrow for to represent the uh, the force eh, for 1520 newton. And then lastly the m m is 90 centimeter from the opposite end of the plank. So 90 cm uh, from the other end 90 cm to balance uh, the plank so that it is in equilibrium state. So label with m. So now we have determined all the forces that act on the plank. Uh, then we have drawn the free body diagram. Uh, next step is to calculate the uh, weight of M. Okay, to calculate the weight of M. So we choose a fixed point uh, at the center here because R is not given. Okay? If we choose other point as a fixed point, we have R and M uh, to unknown eh? so we better choose uh, in the center here so that uh, we only left uh, one unknown uh, to be fine eh? which is uh, m so by using a uh, rotational equilibrium so this is a fixed point therefore r times the distance is zero okay we get zero and then for 5025 newton also times zero we get zero so we just write zero here so the rest is the this m and 1520 eh, for the other two sets of forces so for uh, 1520 okay so the direction is uh, uh, the direction is um, anti clockwise so it's a positive okay anti clockwise is a positive sign uh, the distance, okay, the distance is at 75, so you times 75. So vertical force times the 75 uh, distance, eh? horizontal distance uh, from the fixed point. Okay, next is the M. So we substitute M here. So the sign for M depends on the direction of the rotation. So right direction of the rotation with the fixed point here as axis of rotation. So the force here will make the plank move in the uh, clockwise. So clockwise mean negative. Okay, so the negative sign for clockwise direction. Next, the distance. The distance from the fixed point is 135. Okay. Eh? Uh, so the it equals to zero because for rotational equilibrium, uh, sum of the top is equals to zero. Then we solve for m. The answer is eight hundred and forty four newton. Okay, this is the uh, weight of m. Okay, done. Then question three. Determine the reaction force uh, acting uh, at the pivot. So the reaction force R here. For reaction force, uh, we use translational equilibrium okay for translational equilibrium uh, upward force is r positive then downward force we have three forces uh, minus uh, 1520 and minus uh, 5025 and minus m uh, 844 newton uh, and equals to zero because uh, the it is a translational equilibrium 
So the the answer is uh, R equals to seven thousand three hundred and eighty nine newton. Okay, done for number three reaction force uh, R acting at the pivot. Okay, lastly question C four. Okay, for question C four, uh, determine the net torque about the pivot if the one thousand five hundred and twenty newton block is moved twenty five centimeter from its original position away from the pivot. Okay, so uh, original is uh, at 150 cm from the end here. Then move to the 20 cm, uh, 25 cm uh, to the left. So uh, becomes it uh, the 1520 newton becomes 125 centimeter from the end here. Okay, so to determine the uh, net torque. Okay, so the word uh, the meaning of net torque here means uh, the rotational equilibrium is no more. Uh, the, the the rotational um, motion eh, uh, is no more uh, equilibrium okay so no more uh, in the system is no more uh, in equilibrium so we are going to find the net torque so the net torque uh, is no more equilibrium so you cannot equate to zero so it has values here eh, no longer equals to zero so the values are uh, first, uh, for we choose the same fixed point here at the center, so it's zero. Okay, zero times uh, the distance, so equals to zero for both R and uh, five thousand at twenty-five newton. Okay, next for one thousand uh, five hundred twenty newton, uh, is a uh, positive. Okay, same as just now, uh, because it make a clockwise uh, anti-clockwise uh, rotational motion. And then the distance now becomes 100 cm eh, because it is moved 20 cm to the left. Okay, so 100 cm from the fixed point. Okay, next for M, uh, 844 uh, Newton. Uh, the distance from the fixed point is 100 and is uh, minus because uh, clockwise direction. Eh? Uh, clockwise direction, so minus. The distance is 135 cm. Okay, so the net torque is uh, 338,000 Newton and we get positive value. So, means uh, the net torque is the anti-clockwise uh, direction. So, the uh, total of the uh, torque here uh, will make the uh, plank okay, move in the anti-clockwise direction with the Newton, uh, with the force uh, 338,000 Newton. Okay, so that's all for uh, this essay question. Okay, done. Okay, thank you for watching.